Oscar and Presley are two very lucky donkeys. They were being smuggled and destined for slaughter, but authorities intercepted the truck they were in and saved them from a cruel death. They're stubborn, but they're very forgiving and they're very loving. If you're having a bad day, the best thing to do is cuddle a donkey. Oscar and Presley now spend their days relaxing in this field in South Africa. But not all donkeys in this part of the world are so fortunate. It all started a few years ago when, unable to farm the five million donkeys needed annually to make a traditional medicine known as Ijao, China started looking for the animals elsewhere, says Simon Pope, who works at British charity The Donkey Sanctuary. China had to effectively go out to the world to try and find supply to meet this massive demand for, for Ijao. And... Um, that meant going to places where donkeys were quite common and that, you know, inevitably that's Africa where for, you know, centuries they've been used as a, uh, as a, as a, as a beast of burden. While some in Africa were willing to sell their animals, others were not. So local criminal gangs began to steal donkeys. Experts say the donkeys are often killed in the most brutal way, usually knocked out with a hammer and are sometimes even still alive when they are skinned. The Donkey Sanctuary estimates some 1.5 million of these animals are being stolen each year for their skins. But Francis and Cosi, a groom who looks after rescued donkeys, says these animals are often an important part of life for many rural Africans. If people get sick, sometimes you don't have a car, you don't have a transport, you can use the donkeys to transport, transport some people to the hospital. Grace Delange, an inspector with the National Council of Societies for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals in South Africa, says stolen donkeys are now being smuggled into the tiny landlocked kingdom of Lesotho, where they are killed before being sent to China. We're finding a lot of the trade is going from South Africa into Lesotho. We are not sure exactly what the link is um, and how they are getting it out maybe easier from Lesotho. We've had uh, meetings with um, government in Lesotho and they are also investigating um, so obviously it's used, it's going to, to the Chinese market. A new investigation by the Donkey Sanctuary and researchers at the University of Oxford found in May that their legal trade also acts as a conduit for the smuggling of critically endangered wildlife. Pangolin scales, ivory and abalone have all been found hidden in shipments of donkey skins, as have illicit drugs. Pope says some African countries are now fighting back. Tanzania announced a ban last month saying its donkeys were at risk of extinction. But what we're beginning to see now is a much more of a concerted pushback. But Africa's donkeys will continue to be at risk of being targeted by criminal enterprises as long as there is demand for Ijao in China. Kate Bartlett for VOA News, Johannesburg.